hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to perform the lake shoreline change detection analysis between 2016 to 2023 using sentinel 2a imagery in earth engine so now let's get started so first uh, we need to define the region of interest uh, using uh, our latitude and longitude so for that we defined a variable called variable roi equals to double dot geometry dot polygon and specifying the latitude and longitude of your study area so you can create a study area so let me delete this particular one here so let me create uh, click this option called draw a rectangle so once you did that uh, we're gonna create a rectangle uh, or a square over this uh, lake here so once you did uh, it gets popped up here a uh, variable geometry here and with the latitude and longitude you can just copy this latitude and longitude and uh, paste it here so it will define your study area and after that uh, to center this particular layer we define map.center object roi so roi represents our region of interest so next uh, we're going to calculate the normalized difference water index so in order to uh, show the water change between 2016 and 2023 for example let me click this layer called ndwy 2016 so this was the status of water in 2016 so let me turn this off and turn this uh, let me turn this on here ndwy 2023 and now uh, you can uh, visualize it uh, it's loading the layer here so now this is the current state that is in uh, NDW, ndwy 2023 the current status of uh, water in this particular lake this was in uh, 2016 and this was in 2023 so now uh, let me get back to this code here so now uh, first we're going to perform a normalized difference water index for this uh, given set of years from 2016 and uh, 2023 so for that we define function calculate ndwy year so we're going to mention the year 2016 and 23 so uh, next we're going to uh, insert our sentinel 2a imagery into earth engine so for that we define a variable called collection equals to double dot image collection copernicus s2 so next we're gonna filter with a specific uh, year so for that we define dot filter date year plus uh, january 1 and year plus uh, uh, december 21st so here yeah here the year refers to this uh, set of uh, thing here that is 2016 and 2023 so it's referring to 2016 and 2023 and next we're going to filter with the specific study area for that we define dot filter bound roi so to get at least contaminated uh, cloud uh, less contaminated image uh, we define dot filter double a dot filter dot less than cloud pixel percentage less than 10 so it's referring to the metadata so we are saying the uh, cloud pixel percentage should be less than 10 and next uh, we define dot map function image so we define this variable called ndwy to perform the normalized difference that is uh, to calculate ndwy that is band 3 minus band 8 divided by band 3 plus band 8 in sentinel uh, 2 a imagery to calculate normalized difference water index so for that we defined image dot normalized difference we are referring b3 and b8 band here dot rename so we're going to output as a name as ndwy and uh, we're going to return this image as ndwy and we defined this median function to get a median image for, for the year 2016 and uh, for 2023 and now uh, we're gonna get this after once we perform the ndwy we're gonna set the threshold value that is greater than 0 0.1 indicating all the water uh, water features in the study area so for that we define dot uh, greater than 0 0.1 and uh, it's gonna return the image collection here the return collection and next we're gonna calculate our uh, ndwy for 2016 and 2023 so we already mentioned the formulas here so we're gonna just specify the variable ndwy 2016 calculate ndwy 2016 so it will automatically calculate and refers to this variable here and it will calculate the normalized difference for the year 2016 and similarly for this process also so we define variable ndwy 2023 calculate ndwy and for 2023 so next we have to define the, uh, the visualization and we're going to add and uh, define the visualization parameter so for that we define map.add layer ndwy 2016.clip roi refers to the study area and we're going to specify the color in order to uh, view the change so for that we define uh, the color palette uh, green orange and red 
so the green here represents the all uh, known water features and the red represents the all the water features and now we gonna output the layer name as ndwy 2016 and similar set of process we have performed for this layer 2 that is map.add layer ndwy 2023.clip arboi and palette we are referring to similar color color scheme here green and red and output the layer as ndwy 2023 so now to detect the changes between uh, 2023 uh, and uh, between 2016 and 2023 so we're gonna subtract uh, the 2023 uh, the 2016 image from 2023 to in order to view the change detection analysis so let me show you that here so you're gonna turn those turn this on the change detection so you're gonna turn this off here so you can able to visualize here so this uh, section of this area here so this color here which represents the so this section of this area which indicate the current status of uh, water in this lake here so this color which represents the color status of current status of the water in 2023 and the blue color which indicates the the status of water in 2020 uh, 16 2016 and this color here represents the the current status of water in this lake in 2023 which is uh, given in the, this set of color here and uh, next uh, we're gonna navigate so to detect the changes uh, basically we're gonna subtract uh, 2016 from 2023 so for that we defined a variable called change deduction equals to adwy 2016 dot subtract ndwy 2023 and uh, we're gonna add this layer by map dot add layer and we define this variable called change detection dot clip roi and the color palettes we are using here so we can also use the three sets of color here so i have just used red and blue so you can add uh, three set of color to in order to clearly view the changes. So I uh, defined a palette uh, red and blue and output the layer as change detection. So now to uh, have convert to uh, change the mask to a vector format. So to convert it to a vector format, first we're gonna mask it. So for that we defined a variable change mask equals to change detection update mask change detection. So it's gonna update the mask. Uh, so it's gonna mask uh, only this uh, change detection areas. And it's going to update to this variable change direction here. And after that, uh, we have to convert. Uh, to, we have to uh, we have to convert to a vector format. For that, we define variable change vector equals to change mask dot reduce to vectors. So this function is uh, used to in order to convert to a vector for vector uh, format. And we define the geometry to be around ROI. That is the geometry ROI represents our region of interest. I've set the scale to be around 250. You can also set the, the scale uh, to 10 or uh, 100. So sometimes it causes some error called uh, over pixelated uh, kind of error it comes. So in order to avoid the error, have uh, mentioned the scale value to be around 250. And uh, next, uh, we're gonna mention the maximum pixel size that is 1 to 10 power 8, 13. So mention the maximum pixel size. So to add this layer, we define map.add layer, change vector. So we set to a default visualization parameter and change vector. So this is our change vector. So let me show you the change vector here. So I'm going to navigate to the layer and I'm going to click turn off this, turn this on. So this is the change vector. So uh, you can clearly able to view here change vector. So this was the current status in uh, 2020 uh, 16. So current status of water in 2016 was this and uh, status of water in 2023 so it's loading here so this is the current uh, status of water in 2023 and the change detection between the 2016 and 2023 is given in this vector here so you can able to view that the change detections so now uh, once you did that we can export this uh, vector to a uh, google drive so for that we define export dot table dot to drive and uh, we define collection that is change vector referring to this particular variable and uh, description lake change vector 2016 2023 file format is uh, shape file and folder is uh, we mentioned as cha lake change detection so you can able to see that so in this video i have shown you uh, how to uh, perform a lake shoreline chain detection uh, between 2016 and 2023 using sentinel 2a image so thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like the link will be given in the description thanks for watching